Hello and welcome back to the Daily Weekly YouTube channel and we're here for another interview as part of our little mini series with content creators and of course I couldn't do this without getting the man himself Jake welcome Hello. back in your first video appearance in a long time <laughs> I was about to say ever <laughs> yeah in a long time and yeah so thank you for agreeing to take part in this no worries happy to be here good good so excited and terrified as to what you're going to ask me yes that's always you know once the camera's rolling and you think oh what what could what questions could come up but <laughs> what could go wrong what could go wrong you know it's all been smooth you know let's let's fingers crossed touch wood mm. let's begin let's so first of all for those of well people at home or wherever you're watching who don't know you just kind of introduce yourself um I'm Jake. I used to be a part of this channel, <laughs> um, and now I'm a part-time Twitch streamer, uh, graphic artist, and a billion other things that I dive into for a week and then give up on. <laughs> so many things to do. Yeah, but you know, dip your toes in everything. Yeah, you do. You have to try and try a bunch of things and yeah. see what you enjoy. Diversification exactly. is the key to happiness. And the key to success, because one of those yeah. things might really take off. Yeah, yeah <laughs> so exactly. If you, you do, really if you do enough through. things, eventually one of them will work. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's a good way to think about it. So, how long would you say you've been creating content? Because I've known you've dabbled in YouTube in the past, before the Daily Weekly. and um, Honestly, probably since, like, I don't know. Um, Probably like 2009, 2010. Wow. Uh, like, obviously, I, I, I was a child and <laughs> yeah. I had a very bad camera and I was annoying my family profusely with mm. uh, filming everything. But yeah, no, I'd probably say. Uh, well, I don't know if I'd even call that be a content creator, but I am creating content, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess, seriously, probably the last two, three years. Mm. Um, that's kind of when I reignited my love for streaming and yeah. obviously Daily Weekly came. Yeah. And then I left. Yeah. But hey, it, <laughs> it couldn't, it wouldn't be here without you, so uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've got big thanks for that. Yeah, that's interesting because, you know, I spoke with N Natasha and Rachel who've also revealed that they've, you know, done things like Rachel had a secret blog that I'd never knew about. Oh. <laughs> Natasha has got loads of now private YouTube videos that you see yeah. as a kid, so yeah. it's just like wow. I, I feel you know I've never really. I'm turning it on me. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've never really done anything like this before, yeah. so it's like it's it's cool to find out what other things that people have done. Yeah, I mean, so, like I say, though, I wouldn't have called what I did then like serious mm -hmm. or anything like that. It was just you know I watched like some vloggers on YouTube, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, I'm. 10 years old, I can probably do that from <laughs> yeah. the comfort of our own home. Yeah. Um, which, in retrospect, maybe, maybe, I mean, there are some channels out there that I'm sure can do it. Yeah. Um, there's one, um, it's like a kid who just basically reviews toys, I think it's like Justin's Toy Review or something. something that's, yeah, there's a few yeah, like that. Yeah, there, and just... it's just like, that kid isn't even 13 and he's more minted than I'll ever be in my life. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So it's, it's kind of sad, but yeah, that's one thing to get your kids into. Start my YouTube channel reviewing toys, and then just yeah. just ride on that. Oh, that's success. something I used to do when I was younger as well. I used to like make really terrible toy reviews of Doctor Who action figures. Oh, that's that's cool. <laughs> it, it was terrible. Oh, I feel like I need to see some of these these videos. I, they don't exist anymore. Oh, that's a shame. I should I should have. In retrospect, <laughs> kept them all up, and then we'd have you'd have something to insert in, yeah. these, in this. And so, you know, you say you didn't seriously start creating content until a couple of years ago, but you know, what? Why? I suppose why did you want to like give it another go? Boredom. Boredom. <laughs> um, <laughs> do. um, yeah, I don't know. I just like for streaming. I tried it in twenty sixteen. Like, it was very much so a, you know, we went to school during the week, and then Saturday afternoons for two or three hours, just sit down with a microphone and play games. Mm. Then eventually I just sort of, it just sort of phased out. Yeah. And then I 
yeah, just kind of a couple of years ago, I was like, you know what, I fancy giving this another go. I really used to enjoy it. And as much as I might have taken, you know, like three, like five month long breaks <laughs> throughout, um, yeah, I, I, like, I enjoy it more now than ever. Mm. And I think it's honestly probably in part tribute to the Daily Weekly because I actually understand, <laughs> yeah. you know, you have to have some sort of personality on the internet. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which, to be honest, not, not to get too, too deep here, has never been my greatest <laughs> strength. So fake it till you make it, really. Yeah, that's that's some good advice right there. Yeah. I mean, you know, kind of going off from taking the breaks, what would you say has been your biggest struggle as a creator? I think it's the same for a lot of people, it's just getting that kind of initial recognition. Mm. I mean, like, <laughs> again, not to throw the daily weekly under the bus, <laughs> but like, we, we struggled with it at the beginning, yeah. obviously, yeah. and every channel does. I mean, it's very extremely rare that you get a channel that uploads one video and then suddenly, you know, a million subs. Yeah. Um, I mean, some people do it. Some people get incredibly lucky. Um, you know, they'll have one moment of screaming at a video game and suddenly that's it. They're, you know, yeah. multi-millionaires. Yeah. Um, but I think, yeah, I think kind of just getting your foot in the door and getting, you know, people who do come back to watch your stuff. Because that's, for streaming at least, a big part of it is just getting people to come back. Mm. Because anyone can, you know, watch a watch a stream and then just be like, eh, you know, not for me, I'll leave. But it's it's just about basically keeping them, I guess. <laughs> um, so like, even if you have, you know, a diverse viewer base, you know, you you always have like the same core, like yeah. you know, like five or ten people that you know they sort of they come in, like you see them in chat. Mm -hmm. You know, you're familiar with them. Like one of my moderators on my stream um, was like the first person to start watching me two years ago and you know now I consider him you know a close friend of mine yeah, it's just that's like things. a really nice thing that it wouldn't have happened otherwise without yeah. doing the streaming and again building off of that what would you say has been your favourite moment so far now you don't have to say the daily weekly don't feel pressured <laughs> it's totally okay you can <laughs> um, hmm. oh, it's difficult to pick just one yeah. Um, it's difficult to remember any. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, honestly, I probably would say the Daily Weekly. Oh, that's very kind like, of you. Because, <laughs> um, <clears throat> just, just ignore that voice crack. <laughs> if you feel like cutting this out, please go ahead. It was just like, I don't know. That was an excuse for us to, you know, hop on a Skype call mm. once a week and talk you know, a load of crap about movies and stuff that we pretend we know a lot about. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was... Yeah, I don't know. It's mm. just... I know it's not a favourite moment, it's a favourite period. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, just speaking for myself here, but especially during the last year, it definitely gave me something to do yeah. when there was nothing else, so... Exactly. Yeah. We, uh, that's another reason why I've gone back in streaming is, you know, there's little else we can do, mm. which, you know, it sounds, it doesn't sound great, but <laughs> it's, it's honest, it's, there's yeah. not much else to do, and if you, you know, if you enjoy something, then you might as well do it. Mm. Definitely. Very profound, I know. Yeah, that was, <laughs> really getting, getting quite deep in that, really. <laughs> so, what would you say is one thing you'd wish you'd known at the beginning of your content creator journey? Um, just don't look at viewers um, because you get obsessive mm. and yeah you just kind of you base your content off of how many people are watching, who's watching but I think you know if you if you enjoy making content you know make it for yourself because chances are and again, being brutally honest, it probably won't go anywhere. Like, you know, you might not be 
you know, most people with, you know, 10 million subs mm. and living in mansions in Miami <laughs> and whatever else. Just make sure that you do it for you and because it's what you enjoy doing. Mm. And if you're not enjoying something, even if it is, you know, brain new views, just don't do it because if you're not happy doing something, why are you doing it? Like, yeah, and that, that kind of leads into the next question of what advice would you give to someone wanting to do something similar? So it just Yeah, more or less the same. Um, I don't know, also uh, don't worry about equipment because it really doesn't matter. If you buy yourself a £20 mic then you know it's better than no mic. Um, don't need to be spending you know, a grand on your first camera. Um, just yeah, don't just don't worry. Mm. That's it. Really. Yeah. Just don't worry about things. No, it's, just yeah, just don't don't worry about it and just get started. I suppose. Yeah. I think you know, uh, some people would definitely worry that they need to do this to have this and have this to do that, and mm. you don't just yeah. yeah. It's just I think it's um. I think a lot of people just see, um, you know, big content creators. They have these like custom-made studios. They have, yeah, like a thousand-pound microphones, and they have that whole team behind cameras and stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, we're. Um, I, I'm not gonna say the day week is small <laughs> or, or big, but we are literally sat in Bradley's bedroom facing a camera. Yeah. And it's just us. And yeah, we don't have anyone behind the camera. No. No. Uh, it's all movie magic. <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of luck. Yeah, that's movie magic. A lot of <laughs> luck. That that should honestly be the new motto. Yeah. I guess this is probably one of the more personal questions on here. Um, who or what has helped you most along the way? You, Bradley. Ah. <laughs> um, no, 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 honestly, you. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just I'm a very not you know friendly person. <laughs> no. Um, I don't tend to rely on people for things, you know, like, I make all my own art and animations and stuff, I manage everything myself when I like to do stuff, but I guess in terms of help, yeah, my Twitch moderators, Fran and Juan, you, uh, so are you still a moderator in my stream? I think so. I think I am. Have you ever done any moderating bits in my stream? I don't really know what I need to do. <laughs> I, d I hey, pop in, I don't know uh, what I'm doing. If, if, <laughs> if, if, if someone in chat is just being rude or right. phobic of something, okay. just ban them. Ban <laughs> That's them. basically 90% of moderating. <laughs> okay. um, yeah. No negativity. Like I said, I don't particularly um, rely on people for help, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's not particularly a good thing. But yeah, just just my friends. Oh, that's a very sweet <laughs> answer. <laughs> so what is now again? You know, this some of the others struggle with this question to try and narrow it down to something. But if you can, what would you say is the best compliment you've received about any of your like created works? Um, I mean, I had someone in my Twitch chat last night say, "Damn, you're looking good," <laughs> which was which was really. <laughs> I think for me it's just, um, I don't know, I don't, for streaming at least, I don't particularly rely on, um, well, I don't rely on compliments anyway, but, because I think that's a really toxic character trait, but, um, <laughs> I, I don't know, I probably just, just being told that someone's enjoying what I'm doing and that, um, you know, like even little things like people asking like, oh, how did you make your starting screen for Twitch and stuff? It's things like that, it's just so, you know, if people like something then, you know, they'll ask how to do it themselves. Mm. Um, but, there is, I don't know, I don't think there's any one specific compliment if someone says, oh, you know, that looks good or that looks mm. moderately like the person you're trying to draw. <laughs> um, that's always nice. I don't know, is that a good enough answer? Yeah. <laughs> So, are you working on anything exciting at the moment, apart from this, obviously? Um, is that written down apart from this? Oh, no. no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, 
for now, it's just keeping up what I'm doing, Twitch streaming. I want to continue that, grow that, because I just I, I enjoy streaming. I, mm -hmm. I think it, you know, I think it's still a very uh, underrated way of producing content. I'm not working on anything new. I'm just working on what I've been working on. Yeah, yeah. So that, that was the last question I have written down. But just kind of going towards some of your Twitch stuff is, you've recently made some TikToks and. I have, yes. YouTube shorts. I just, just realised I forgot all about that. Yeah. Jump. <laughs> yeah. You, at the time of recording, you made some recently, so and they've kind of really taken off, I suppose. Like, if you, Put off. Yeah, if you think yeah. of like something that gets like, you know, like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying that like, gets no views and then something that gets <laughs> yeah. views. It's definitely. Yeah. You know, edging towards the view one. Yeah. Um, like, did you kind of. Did you expect them to take off? Or? No, no, not at all. You know, I think, like with streaming, TikTok is a really underrated way to grow your content. It's still a very new platform. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of room for people to grow. Mm. Hashtags on there work incredibly. They do. But yeah, because you, you see people using the hashtag for something that's not even yeah. related to the hashtag, and yeah. it will just work. Like, I always try to... Like, it's a really weird thing, but for me, I like to limit how many hashtags I use to maybe five. Mm. Because I think a good bit of advice as well was when you're using hashtags, don't just go for the ones that have, like, four billion entries. Go for the ones that have, like... You know, it still sounds like a lot, but, like, you know, like, 20 million. Mm. Because... Realistically, there, even though it is 20 million, whatever, it's still the lower end of what hashtags are on there. Yeah. Because you, it's about finding a sweet spot, right? Of not going for a hashtag that's, you know, one person has looked at since TikTok began, mm. but not going for something that's so oversaturated that as soon as you post, you will get lost in the algorithm. Yeah. Um, I think TikTok's really like taking great steps in promoting small creators mm -hmm. you know I, I was never really a TikTok fan up until I restarted really doing it myself mm. it's kind of crazy that the thing that actually gets the most attention is something that I kind of half ass, which is TikTok yeah yeah um and you know like even if a TikTok gets you know 800 views and you know over 100 likes I might have had one person from TikTok since I started come over to my stream and be like, oh, I saw you on TikTok. Yeah, I think that's the thing with TikTok is it's so easy to find something if you're just swiping through mm -hmm. and then like you might see something really funny, but then it's the extra step to like go and find where yeah. else they are. So even if you say, hey, go check me out over here, mm. you know, it's like... It's but like then a, they have to go and do yeah, that. It, yeah, it kind of filters down, whereas some people just want to stay there. But I mm. think, I mean, I've done a few TikToks, nothing serious, and I... If I, I should probably use it for the Daily Weekly, to be honest, because it would probably work a bit, but... Like, and I've had nothing go over a thousand views, but still, when mm. something I, like, literally made as a ten-second joke yeah. gets hundreds of views and likes, I'm like, I didn't see that coming. I think TikTok's the platform that you can be laziest on, and I think it's the luckiest platform. Yeah, definitely. Because a lot of it is just, you know, like, like for my TikToks, I don't ever actually edit them in TikTok. Mm. I edit them on, you know, Premiere Pro or whatever, and then just upload that to TikTok. I think my most recent one, uh, I probably spent, I don't know, three hours editing it, mm. and it flopped oh. compared to the others. It got, so, so like, my sort of peak sort of views, I think, is like 800, um, which isn't crazy, but it's, it's good enough for me. Mm. Um, as soon as it ends three digits, I'm happy, but... Um, yeah, no, this video that, it was basically like a compilation of what I did in my first week back streaming. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try and do these sort of every week just to, I don't know, have something out there mm. in case people, you know, they're not in the streams, but they can catch up quite yeah, nicely. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it got like 250 views and I spent like three hours on that compared to one that took me 20 minutes to edit <laughs> and that got nearly 800, which... Yeah, uh, yeah, and you've also uploaded them to YouTube as YouTube Shorts, which is kind I of. I have. That's your, that was your advice. <laughs> it was my advice because you know it's basically YouTube copying TikTok because they're like, oh, that's good. We mm. need some of that. Shorts do ridiculously well. Yeah. Like, I think the one one of them that I uploaded got like 
1.2k views and like 70 likes. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's kind of mad. Short content is, mm. yeah. Take, yeah. Take it off, I guess. There you go. <laughs> that, that, that's my bit of advice for uh, new streamers. Just make shorts and put hashtag shorts in there and it will almost definitely get a few views. Yeah. <laughs> um, make YouTube shorts, make TikToks, just use the same video for both. Just yeah, yeah that's... Because you can and, you know, it's... See, although I don't... I feel weird uploading something that's like TikTok, you know, resolution, vertical, mm. put it on YouTube because it always just looks weird and I worry that people, they're not going to like it because it's not, yeah. you know, widescreen whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, that concludes this interview, I suppose. That's all the questions I have for you today, Jake. It's been, it's been a pleasure. It has. An honour and a pleasure. Got some really insightful answers there. <laughs> <laughs> That um, was a good one. So, yeah. thank you for taking part. No worries. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And where can we find you, Jake? You do streaming. Where I'm, are you? I'm right next to you, brother. <laughs> oh, um, you can find me at twitch.tv slash midwintermakes. Oh, that's annoying because all my, all my social handles are all different because <laughs> <laughs> there, there was a problem getting my TikTok name, but that's oh. a long story. Um, TikTok is midwinter underscore makes. And I guess just Twitter, I post pretty much every aspect of my life on Twitter. So if you want to know where to find something, uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter, yeah. which is Moon to Makes as well. And so you don't have to remember all those links off by heart, they will all be in the description. So go check them out and click and follow, subscribe, and all that stuff. So thank you and, and good follow luck. the Daily Weekly. Oh, yeah, you know, you can do that too if you want. Mm.